What's going on guys? Coach Ashton here with a new video teaching you about protein powder. So this is almost like a supplement series. Um, this is gonna be part one. So protein powder, I would say, is probably the most widely used supplement there's out there, probably the most popular as well. Um, but now there's a there's more diversity in the protein marketplace than ever. So how do you know whether to use you know a whey protein or plant-based protein? Um, what sources of protein are good? Um, is protein powder necessary in general? Uh, so the first question I'm going to answer is protein powder is not necessary. Um, what it does, what any supplement does, is supplements our diet. So whatever we eat in general. Now, do I take a protein supplement? Yes. Yes, I take a protein supplement. Why do I take a protein supplement? It helps me with my protein intake. It's convenient for me. I have to eat about 200 grams of protein per day. I'm not going to eat that of chicken breast, of steak or ground beef. That'd just be way too much. It's really hard and inconvenient to do that. Protein shake, blend it, or you know, shake it up in a bottle. You have 24 grams of protein instantly. Um, also, they're usually sweet, so it helps with cravings and stuff like that. You can cook with them. We cook with them all the time, so they're very helpful. So you want to make sure you find the fine line of quality um, and price, because you don't need to be breaking the bank. Protein shouldn't be very expensive. That being said, the big debate here is whey versus plant-based protein. Um, so you'll have two kind of camps here. You have your vegan people or vegetarian people, and then you have like your bros that are like committed to whey protein. Um, so first of all, let me dismiss like this myth right away. Plant-based protein doesn't compromise your gains. Whey protein doesn't give you any nutritional um, advantage over somebody that is on a plant-based diet. Let's start off, what is whey protein? Whey protein is made of dairy. Um, so if you ever open like a yogurt up and there's like that, uh, kind of like that liquidy film that's on top, that's actually whey protein. So they take that, they filter it, they, they burn it up to the point to where it burns off the bacteria. Um, that also kind of um, gets rid of the nutritional value of whey protein as well. So you'll get rid of some of those vitamins and minerals that are on there. Okay, and then plant-based proteins, they can be made up of any plant now. Uh, pea, rice, and hemp are some of the most popular that I see. Next, and this, this gets way too much attention, complete versus incomplete, okay? What does that mean? So whey protein has, it is a complete source of protein. What does that mean? It has all nine essential amino acids in it in abundance, okay? Um, for plant-based proteins, Usually, the, like pea protein, for example, has all nine, but has three that they're lacking in abundance, so it doesn't really count as a complete protein. And then I put unless mixed. So that's why a mixture, so this is pea protein, just straight up pea protein by itself. This is going to be an incomplete protein powder, and then this is gonna be a complete protein powder because this is a um, pea protein and a brown rice protein mixture. Now that being said, it doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Complete versus incomplete, it doesn't really matter. Yes, you want all your essential amino acids. They're called essential for a reason. But if you are eating more than just pea protein powder, so this has six six of the essential ones, three that are, um, uh, that are essential, but it doesn't have that in here. If you eat brown rice later in the day, you're going to get the three that this one doesn't have. You know, or if you're just doing a vegan protein or a vegetarian protein or plant-based protein, you're going to eat meat later, you'll get your complete protein right there. So all in all, doesn't really matter if you wanna be the absolutely most optimal, 100%, like you're doing everything to a T, um, then you might wanna worry about that a little bit. Uh, but if you just wanna avoid, and if you're on a vegan diet, just go with a, a mixture. They, they even taste better um, than just a pea protein by itself. Uh, we'll go fast digesting with whey. So whey, you know, digests super, super fast in the bloodstream. Um, and then plant-based is gonna be a little bit of slower digestion. Um, and the big part of that too is that most uh, plant-based proteins are going to have fiber. For example, this one has three grams of fiber. Any whey protein usually has zero grams of fiber unless it's added in. And the reason why is because animal-based products don't have fiber in them, naturally. Uh, and plant-based stuff does have fiber. That's why plants are so good for us. You know, fruits and vegetables are great for us because it has that fiber. So it's gonna have a slower digestion. Plant-based 
proteins are going to have um, a little bit more um, nutrient density to it, and that's because it's some mixture of plants. Um, plants are gonna have the higher nutrients. And then, like I said, with the whey, um, especially when you get to the isolate, it is literally just protein by itself, which is great because you have your essential amino acids, no fat, no carb, but also has no nutrients to it as well. Um, so you're just getting that protein in. So if you want a little bit more nutrients with it, I would go with the plant-based. Um, and then uh, whey contains lactose. So what lactose is, is the sugar and then our body, some people's body breaks it down, some people don't. I would say, you know, anywhere from that 50 percentile range of Americans are lactose intolerant, meaning that lactose doesn't really digest in their body. Now, that being said, a lot of whey protein, especially if it's isolate, it's not gonna have a lot of lactose in it. Um, but I find it still, and I'm somewhat lactose intolerant, I can eat ice cream, but when I take whey protein, it kind of makes my stomach feel weird. Um, so digestion might be a little bit better with the plant-based, especially with the fiber in there. Uh, with the whey, I've seen people get bloated and stuff like that, but if you can take it, I mean, it's good for yourself. Um, now, here's another big thing too. This is probably the worst case against, this is probably a big strike against plant-based proteins, is that um, whey tastes better. Whey tastes better in shakes, okay? So if you're blending up a shake or if you're, if you're just taking a shaker cup, putting your protein and shaking it up, whey's gonna taste better. Um, vegan, they're getting better because they're making it, because they're becoming more popular, they're making it better tasting. Uh, but I find that plant-based protein powders actually taste better in cooking. So when I make protein pancakes, or if I make uh, you know protein cookies, muffins, etc., if I'm cooking with my protein powder, I find the plant base to be better tasting, um, and the way it kind of makes it like a I don't even know like a like a foamy like it's just kind of weird. It tastes like a like a pillow. It's just I don't know. It's just not very good. It's not my favorite. So I can't stand making protein pancakes with whey protein, um, but I would rather make a shake with whey protein because it does have a better taste to it. Um, and that's not always the case. The taste is up to you. Uh, whey is pretty neutral tasting. It's not gonna have a crazy taste to it, while plant-based is going to have a more distinct taste to it in general, okay? Um, and then now that, like I said, plant-based proteins are becoming more widely available because of their popularity, the price is about the same. Um, this huge thing of protein powder right here, uh, you got non-GMO vegetable protein here. 24 grams per serving, one carb, two fat. Um, you're going to have 96 servings in this thing. Um, and I think it cost us around 50 cents per serving, which is ridiculously cheap. We got it on Amazon for like a super, super good price. You won't find it for that price. Um, but you usually want to aim for about, I would say a dollar per serving is pretty good. So if you pay $30 for um, a 30 serving thing of protein, that's good. The thing about plant-based protein powders is that a lot of them, and now they're starting to catch up a lot more to mimic whey, um, but a lot of them won't be 24 grams of protein. Now I, because I know what I'm looking for, we got two of them that have 24 grams of protein per serving. Um, this one's 30 servings, and I think this one was about 30 bucks as well. If you look at, you know, Optimum Nutrition, uh, any GNC, any kind of proteins like that, it's gonna be about a dollar per serving as well. So the prices are about the same. Which one is the winner? I don't know. I don't know. This is this is a preference thing. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that you're gonna watch from me is gonna be kind of up to you. Your protein powders, which one is it gonna work? Is it gonna be your whey? Is it gonna be your plant-based one? Um, it's up to you. Which one are you gonna like better? Which one is gonna help you stay on your nutritious lifestyle better? If you like whey and it tastes better, it doesn't make you feel like crap, continue to taste whey. If you take plant-based and you're like, ew, this is gross, and you stop using it, that's the worst protein for you. Does that make sense? If you don't use this one, this is the worst plant, this is the worst protein for you. If you whey makes you feel like crap, but you do it because your bro in, in eighth grade told you that you take a whey protein shake right after your workout, we're gonna talk about the anabolic, uh, anabolic window uh, in, a, in a later video. But if, you, if your bro's telling you to take the whey protein, it makes you feel like crap, it makes you feel bloated, you don't know what's any result, don't take whey protein anymore then. Take a plant-based, you might feel better, and it might taste good, it might keep you on your nutritious lifestyle. The winner.
it's up to you. Whatever one you want to be the winner. I just provide the facts for you. I'll tell you what I take. If you're like, if you just think, wow, Ashton's a G. I like him. I want to follow what he's doing. I take plant-based protein powder. So we have this huge thing from now. This tastes awful. <laughs> this tastes really bad. So I mix this with stuff. Uh, this one's pretty good. This is like a chocolate mocha. Uh, but the tastes aren't crazy. But the reason I take a plant-based protein powder is because whey protein doesn't digest very good in my body. Um, I eat a ton of meat and I eat dairy as well. So I kind of want to diversify my um, my nutrition plan by adding a plant-based protein in there because I don't eat a ton of veggies and stuff. Um, this is just gives me another, another variation um, of protein, okay? Um, and I just like it. I like it better. I've been switched over for a year and a half now and I've taken nothing but plant-based protein powders. Um, I haven't noticed any muscle loss. Actually, I feel stronger. Um, my physique, I feel it like gets better and better because it doesn't matter plant versus whey. You can look at our tons of studies. I mean, the variance is gonna be like one or 2% off. If you care about that one or 2%, Go study a little bit more, but if you're just like the other 99% of people that just want to have a good body and be healthy, it doesn't matter. Pick the one that's good for you. I like plant-based, but yeah, that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel because we're coming out with a bunch of good stuff, giving you real information that's going to give you real results. Level up your life. Stay blessed. I love you guys. Thank you.